there. I'm a mighty pirate. What? You're a mighty what? Can you tell me where a comedy room is? What? Comedy room? I guess you can try the pit. Uh, talk to some guy called Ken, I think. Hey, thanks. What? What are you doing here? What? What are you, a cop? No. Then mind your own beeswax. <sighs> can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? I'll go down East Avenue and turn right for three blocks. Um, thank you. Bye. See ya. Oh boy, my first gig. This is going to be the start of my new amazing career in stand-up comedy. Not another one. I need to find a guy called Ken to get on tonight. He looks like he's not moved from that spot since 1983. I heard that. You are in the bar room of the pit, a haven for low lives and drunks. And that's just the bartender. It should be noted that the exit is to the left, backstage area is to the top left, and the bathroom is on the right. Please don't lick the walls. So rock, rock, y'all. Tick, tock, y'all. To the beat, y'all. Come on and rock, y'all. What is wrong with you? I need another drink. Uh, I don't think you would appreciate that. Nah. Hi, I'm here about the comedy. So? Can I have a beer? Do you have any money? No. Then you can't. Are you Ken? No. Do you know where Ken is? Bathroom. Why are you so angry? Why am I so angry? Because I'm nothing but a dancing drunk monkey man to people like you. Like me? You people come in here night after night, week after week. Do you think I haven't paid for what I've done? I could have done a lot more. I could have burnt this whole world down. When you're driving at 88 miles per hour into the danger zone, you don't come back the same, pal. Sorry I asked. Okay, I'm going now. Good. <sighs> they don't have much of a selection here. You do realize you're talking out loud, don't you? You are in the bar room. I need another drink. Oh, I would give it a minute to hear out. Yuck. I think that was Ken. It's a terribly drawn sink. It's a terribly drawn sink. I think it says, for a good time, call sex bro. I should write that down, that's gold. I don't need to go right now. Smells like an old wet bear in here. I think there's a piece of paper in the toilet. It's fine urban art by local artists. Urinal cakes. I should write that down. That's gold. You are in the bathroom of the pit. It looks like a bunch of gorillas have just used this place. It smells worse than it looks. You hope you can find what you need and leave as soon as possible. Are you, are you Ken? Maybe.
Do you run this night? Maybe. Who's asking? I am. Okay. So do you run this night? Maybe. How do I get on the lineup tonight? You need to bring at least ten people. Then I might put you on. Uh, um, okay. How long are sets? They are exactly five minutes. You go over five minutes, I turn the mic off and you look like a dick. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, you better. Can I have a drink voucher? Drink vouchers are for performers only. And besides, I've already lost one today. Maybe I can find it. And maybe you are not annoying me right now. Who's on the lineup tonight? A great lineup tonight. We have Tim Wheaton, Harry Hogan, Shane Grizzly, featuring Steve Yokes, and MC Totes Lol. Gonna be an amazing night. Yeah, sounds like it. Do you know where I can find more people? Do I look like a wizard, kid? No, I just... Well, you're talking to me like I am one. Do I look like I'm gonna stop some flying flame monster with just my staff? My shouting, you shall not pass? Again, I'm gonna have to go with no. Don't ask me stupid questions, kid. Sorry. Any advice for a young comic? Yeah, stick to time and be funny. Okay, anything else? Look, kid, it can't help you. It's not like I'm the ghost of George Carlin, mate. Do you have a writing pad with you? Yeah, I keep it in my inventory. Well, use that when you see or hear any good ideas. In my experience, a well-prepared joke always seems to land. Cool, thanks. Don't mention it. Okay, I have to go now. Whatever. Don't forget to bring ten people. Kill me. Me again? Yeah, great. Can I have a beer? Do you have any money? No. Then you can't. Okay. Good. Kill me. Backstage is for talent only. Kill me. Hey there, would you like to see a free comedy show? Yeah! Great! Only if you buy me a drink. A drink? I, I don't have any money. I can't see the show unless I have a drink. Uh, okay, I'll see what I can do. Hey, I have a free drink voucher if you want it. Yeah! Great! So will you come and watch the show? Yeah! Great! There is already one in for the show. Maybe this will be enough for Ken to give me a spot. I think it's that guy's bike. I don't need to use that. Ready for the show? Yeah! Okay, I found one person. Didn't I say ten people? Yeah, but I don't know ten people. No surprises here. Okay, I'm gonna cut your break. But you better get back there quick, the show's about to start. Hope you don't mind going on first. <sighs> Me again? Yeah, great. Okay, I'm going now. Good. Kill. Christ, they let anyone on at this joint. <sighs> Ugh. 
All right, gang, the show's about to start. There's a big audience out there of seven people, so it's going to be a great night. Remember, you're early on for five minutes. Anything after that will result in the mic being switched off. Okay, the lineup is... On first, we have New Guy. Okay. On second, we have Tim Wheaton. Fine with me. On third, we have Harry Hogan. Yeah. And to finish the first half, we have Jane Grizzly. Sure. And then we have a break. And then our feature tonight, we have Stephen Yokes. Whoop de do. And our MC is Totes Lol. <laughs> what MCs? All right, let's have a great show, everyone. I'll go do a five minute call. I really need to use the bathroom. If Ken doesn't pay me, I'm going to knock that jerk out. <laughs> yeah. The walls are covered in posters of bands that have played here, but it's mostly drawings of big doodles. Need to use hey there, are you on tonight? Piss off. Fair enough. God, this is already the worst gig of my life. Why do you think I'm drinking? Uh, I really need to use the bathroom. Hey there, are you on tonight? Uh, yeah. Doing new stuff tonight? Yeah, a few new bits. Cool. Are you going to do a festival show? Yeah, if I can afford it this year. Cool! How long have you been doing stand-up for? Um, maybe like four years. Cool! I better go look at my notes. Oh, okay, me too. Uh, I really need to use- If Ken doesn't pay me, I'm gonna knock that jerk. Okay, everyone, the show's about to start in a second. Go get a drink, and we'll get this night going. With your host, Totes Lol. Uh, I really need to use the... You know what? I don't feel so... Nervous vomit. Where have you been? The show's about to start. Sorry, I had to use the bathroom. Well, we're starting now, so I hope you're ready. Let's do this! Alright, I'll do a quick bit at the start and then I'll bring you straight on. It's probably gonna kill, so good luck following it. Uh, anything you want me to say to bring you on? Um... Good, let's get the show started. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night at the Pit Comedy! Please make welcome your MC tonight, Totes Lol! Welcome everyone to the Pit on Monday Night. We've got a great show for you tonight with your feature act, Stephen Yokes. It's going to be a great night, but first... What's the deal with cheeseburgers these days? I mean, every year they're getting smaller and smaller. At this rate, I'm going to need a magnifying glass just to see my burger. Uh, because, because the burgers, uh, they're getting smaller? Oh, just forget about it. Let's just bring out the first guy, shall we? Start clapping your hands for a new kid on tonight. Hey guys, how are we all tonight? Good? So, have you ever wondered how crazy people go through the forest? They take the psychopath. That didn't go well. We live in a world where we know everything about everyone, but nobody knows the origins of the metal coat hangers. Here's a fun fact. It's impossible to look cool whilst picking up a frisbee, but... That didn't go well. 
ever noticed, prodding a fire with a stick makes you feel more manly? Thanks guys, you've been great! Pretty good for a first time. Good work, kid. That was, uh, something, I guess. Send me an email tomorrow and I'll book you in my other room. You did okay. It wasn't bad, but it... It wasn't good either. It was just... Mm, okay. Hey there, are you on tonight? Piss off. Fair enough. Hey, did you see me set? You were very brave. Um, thank you. Hey, did you see me set? You were great. Thanks. Wait, were you the guy in the zebra costume? Um, no, I, I was on first. I didn't see you, but that other guy was great. <laughs> hey, did you see me set? Yeah, great stuff. It's some kind of set of rules for the backstage area. Rule number one, no body fluids of any sort on the walls. Rule number two, only performers allowed in this area. Rule number three, no drawings of big doodles on the walls. Rule number four, all drugs must be shared with the staff. Rule number five, no crying. See rule number one. Nah, let's not- How do you catch a red elephant? <laughs> With a red elephant trap? Come on, is anyone out there? Hey, did you see me set? Good work, kid. Keep it up. Okay, thanks. Hello, is this thing on? Uh, did you like my set? Yeah! Have you heard about this new pirate movie? Yeah, it's rated R. Is this thing on? Hey, did you like my set? Jesus. Let's hope next week they get some real comedians. Thanks a lot. Hello, is this thing on? I didn't even need... Have you heard about this new pirate movie? Yeah, it's rated R. Is this thing on? Jesus. Let's hope next week they get some real... Are you free? Sure. You ready to go? Let's go. Just stop here. Okay, sir, that'll be $28. I'll just get my wallet. I'll be right back. I don't think he's going to get his wallet. I'm going to kill this little freelighter. Run! You're dead, kid. It's good to be home. I feel really bad about how tonight went. I just want to go to bed. I should feed the cat and send Ken an email before I go to sleep. <coughs> Alright, I'll feed you in a minute. Check friend request. You have zero friend requests. Had fun at the pit last night. On my way to being a great stand-up comedian. Lol. Smiley face. Sent. Hey Ken, this is the new kid. Nice meeting you last night. If there are any future gigs available, I'd love to be on the lineup. Thanks again, the kid. Sent. Some girls are so catty. Sarah, you're the only one I can trust. BFF. Like. Why does a round pizza come in a square box? 
people are hella stupid. LOL, classic, me. Like. I'm so bored. Like. Why does a round pizza come in a square box? Pe like. Sure, I've only done one gig, but I better make a page for all my fans. Page created. Now I just sit back and wait. Good idea. It's okay, but it is really glitchy lol. It is also really boring, uneasy face. I'm sorry I cannot suggest this game to anyone. Hey, I'm trying my best here. Good idea. This game is great. Whoever made this must be quite talented and handsome. Ah, uh, this is a little ray of sunshine in a CGA 8-bit world. Good idea. This game is great. Whoever made... Uh, oh boy, I love these things. What kind of magical unicorn are you? If you could have any color main, what color would it be? You have chosen arsenic. What sort of magic do you have in your horn? You have chosen the power of karate and friendship. What element power would you want to be master of? You have chosen the element of fire. Where would you live? You have chosen to live in a reasonably low rent apartment. What sort of unicorn part do you have? You have chosen black like my soul. Getting results. You are an unusual unicorn known to the world as bird, whose arsenic color is as clinical as a hospital ward, with the amazing power of friendship to everyone. You also harness the power of fire. You live in a lovely apartment where the rent is quite reasonable. Your heart is black and tar-like and you constantly get headaches and back problems. Earth the unicorn, you are not very good at table tennis. Like. Are you sure you want to shut down? Yeah. Shutting down. Alright, I'll feed you in a minute. Alright, I'll feed you in a minute. Alright, I'll feed you in a minute. Nah, you don't need to touch that. It's an old smelly lettuce. Not much in here, just an old lettuce. You should probably get some more food. Here, yeah, Sooty! Dinner! This is the rug I got from the markets. I feel like this rug really ties the room together. Oh, it's my fluffy, wuffy little kid, Sooty! Oh, it's my little fluffy, wuffy, scruffy, wuffy! Yes, you are my little scruffy, wuffy, scruffy, scruffy! It's abstract art. It means something very deep, I'm sure. Day or night, it's always the same view. It's not much of a bed, but it's a bed nonetheless. I should pick them up, but I can't be bothered. It's postcards from places I've never been to. <sighs> I need to leave the house some more. It's my collection of books. Everything from how to change a flat tire, to Zen and the art of replacing a flat tire. It's my computer for social networking and porn. I should shut the fridge door. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. The world's greatest comic, New Kid. Thank you, thank you. It's great to be here. Two peanuts walk into a bar, and one was assaulted. Boo! 
are bad. That didn't go well. A jumper cable walks into a bar. The bartender says, I'll serve you, but don't start anything. You suck. Ooh. That didn't go well. Two antennas made on a roof fall in love and got married. The ceremony wasn't much, but the reception was excellent. Get off. Terrible. That didn't go well. Um, so, um, two cannibals are eating a clown, and one says to the other, Does this taste funny to you? That didn't go well. Boo. 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 What is happening to me? I'm doing so badly. I quit your day job. Oh no, this is horrible. What a horrible dream. I must be still bummed out about last night. I should check if Ken has replied. She is sound asleep. I wonder how she got up there. Check friend request. Must have seen my set last night. I'm so bored. Like. It's an email from Ken. Hey kid, last night was pretty bad. But I'm going to give you another chance. I have another gig tonight at the Ha Ha Lounge. Try and get there early so we can talk about your stand-up. Hope to see you tonight. Ken. I better get going now. See ya, sweetie! Hey, Ken. Hey, kid. Look, I need you to do me a favor. Um, sure. I need you to hand out these flyers. Um, okay. How many do you want me to give out? All of them. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I'll be in here when you're done. Hey! Uh, would you like to go see some comedy at the Ha Ha Lounge? Ah, uh, no thanks. I still have more to give out. Hey! Uh, would you like to go see some comedy at the Ha Ha Lounge? Hey, thanks. I still have more to give out. Nah. Hey! Uh, would you like to go see some comedy at the Ha Ha Lounge? Hey, thanks. I still have more to give out. You find yourself out the front of the Ha Ha Lounge. It's a pretty well respected venue. Many great comics before you have started here. It's a place where legends and dreams are made or destroyed. To the right, the smell of garbage and wet hair is present. It's fine urban art by local artists. It's a billboard for Smart Cola, the fizzy drink that makes you think. No, it's an industrial garbage bin. There's some kind of wet, hairy thing by the bin. Nah, I don't need to yet. The door needs to be open from the inside. You are in an alley behind the Ha Ha Lounge. As the sun slowly dies behind the city, the smell of wet garbage plays music in your nostrils. 
I think it's Mr. Burns if he was drawn by someone holding a pen with two hands. It's fine urban art by local artists. You are in an alley. You are in an alley. Nah. Hey! Uh, would you like to go see some comedy at the Ha Ha Lounge? Oh, piss off. I still have more to give out. Maybe I should stay around the venue. There's nothing out there for me. Hey! Uh, would you like to go see some comedy at the Ha Ha Lounge? Hey, thanks. I still have more to give out. I still have more to give out. Hey! Uh, would you like to go see some comedy at the Ha Ha Lounge? No thanks. I still have more. Good idea. I'm not gonna stand out here like a complete spoon giving out flyers all day. You stand in the foyer of the Ha Ha Lounge. There is a girl at the ticket booth who seems disinterested in her job. Strange artwork hangs on the right. The smell of possibilities and cheap beer comes from behind the door. The famous comedy icon of the Groucho Marx glasses, also known as the Beagle Puss. The universal stamp of quality in comedy lounges the world around. It's a vase full of sticks or wank, I can't tell. You stand in the it says, tickets, but you already knew that, didn't you? I find this work menacing, but playful, because of the way the optical suggestions of the spatial relationships bring within the realm of discourse the essentially transitional quality. I have no idea what I just said. It's a vase full of sticks or... Um... The subaqueous qualities of the gesture makes resonant the essentially transitional quality. I have no idea what I just said. You stand. Girl at the ticket booth looks like she'd rather be anywhere but here. Welcome to the Ha Ha Lounge. Tickets are as following adults are $30 each or $29.50 for students, or group bookings start at $50 and up. How many tickets do you need, sir? Hey there, is Ken around? Who? Um, Ken sent me? Who? Ken? Never heard of him. That's okay, I've just always wanted to say that. Whatever. How much are tickets again? Tickets are as following. Adult or group bookings. How many tickets? I don't have any. Thanks for raising my hopes and smashing them down again. 
I'm here to perform. Look, if you like want to see the show, you need to pay like everyone else. This is the Ha Ha Club, not the Uncle Bunking Comedy Hour. Look at you, you don't even have a beard. Thanks for your time. Sorry to bring you down. If there was a point system for self-esteem, I would be at minus 200 right now. Not here, I should go back to the alley to do that. Okay. How do I look? Hey there, I'm here to perform tonight. Oh cool. I'll open the door for you. Thanks. For the first time in my life, I feel like I am part of the cool kids. The famous comedy icon of the Groucho, also known as the Universe, Must be free entry if you have a beard day. Nah. Hey, Ken, I got rid of your flyers for you. Who are you? It's me, Ken, the kid. Who? Oh? It's me, Ken. I'm wearing a fake smelly beard. Who? Oh? I'm the kid who handed out your flyers. Ah, uh, you probably just threw them all in the bin. No! I, I, I totally was out there and gave them all out. Yeah, great kid. You really helped me out. Uh, it's a full house tonight, but feel free to stand at the back and enjoy the show, right? Um, sorry? Yeah, the show's about to start, so you better get back there. Oh, I was kind of expecting to get up tonight. <laughs> Good one, kid. It's stuff like that that'll make you a great comic. This is not why I got out of bed today. He looks very engaged in his phone. He looks very engaged in his... Hey there. So are you on tonight? Huh? How long have you done stand-up for? What? Any new bits you're trying tonight? Yeah, you can use it. Nice talking to you. Sure, sure, cool, cool. Hey there. Hey there, are you on tonight? Oh, yeah. So, yes? Yes. Great! How long have you done stand-up for? For about... 11 years. Okay. I like your beard. Thank... you. Nice talking to you. Good. Bye. Hey there. Hey there, are you on tonight? Yeah, are you? Not anymore, thanks to Ken. Ken made you fly for the show, didn't he? Yeah. Don't worry, he did the same thing to me when I started. Hey, Ken, give this kid a break, would you? Okay, kid. You can go on first, but don't make me regret it. Hey, thanks. No problem. How long have you done stand-up for? Too long, kid. Too depressingly long. Cool. Who's your favorite comedian? I don't watch a lot of comedy. They're either better than me and it's depressing, or they're horrible and still getting work, and that's depressing. Okay, thanks for the chat. No problem. So I'm cool to go on now? Okay, kid. Let's get this show going. Okay, change of lineup. Now it's new kid on first. Fine. Then Hank Balls. 
Cool. Then Frank Gray. Okay. Then a break, and then your headline, Bob Beard. Okay. And your MC, Ryan Tokes. Sure, sure. Okay, let's have a great show, everyone. It's a packed room. I'll just take this stinky beard off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ha Ha Lounge. Please welcome to the stage your MC, Ryan Tokes. Hey, how we all doing? Are we ready for a big show? Whoa! Yeah! Oh yeah! Alright, let's kick this show on. Have you ever noticed when a girl's not into a guy? He's never gonna get another chance with her. But when a guy's not into a girl, he's all like, well, let's see what happens. Oh my god, that is so true. Think about this one. Why is a person who plays a piano called a pianist, but a person who drives a race car is not called a racist? <laughs> it's funny because it's true. If a cow laughed, would milk come out of her nose? Hello. Okay, we're going to have a great night of stand-up. You guys seem amazing. Are you ready for a great show, people? Whoa. Yeah. Hell yeah. Please welcome to the stage. He's new, but one of the funniest guys I've ever met. Let's make him feel welcome. Here is... A new kid! Um, hi. Why isn't the number 11 pronounced 1D1? That didn't go well. Sometimes I just sit back and think about how funny the world would be without elbows. What's the deal with airline food? It doesn't matter what you order, it all tastes like quiche, which wouldn't be so bad. But I don't think quiche should be a beverage. Uh, I just want to end on this. If the speed of light is 186,000 miles per second, what's the speed of darkness? That didn't go well. Nice guys, you've been great! Peace! You did your best. Time to ditch the beard. Good to get out of here. The smell of cool in that place was at a dangerous level. Not bad, kid. Not bad. Hey, thanks. How long have you done comedy for, kid? Um, this is my second gig. No offense, kid, but it shows. Oh. Have you ever done Minx Bar? No, where is that? It's a little out of the city, but it's a cool little club. You should drop them an email and get a gig. Hey, thanks, I will. Better than these room Ken runs. Hey, after this we're heading to Godfrey's if you want to come. Yeah, cool. Anyway, better get back to it. Hey, good try. Um, thank you. Looks like I'm going to be hanging out with some real cool comedians. Some drinking later. I think we can all agree that Keaton was the best Batman. No way, Christian Bale was way more believable. Bale sucks. The only thing people will remember from The Dark Knight was how much Ledger owned playing the Joker. I'm still a big fan of Jack Nicholson in those Burton films. It was a good mix. Burton, Keaton and Prince. Prince is the best. The Bat Dance was the greatest video clip ever made. Agree. I have always been a huge fan of Keaton. He was made for that role. Agree. Who do you think should play Batman that hasn't yet? Josh Brolin? Oh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. John Hamm. What about you, kid? Mickey Rourke. Thanks for putting that in my head. What about that new Star Wars film? I doubt it'll be any good. Yeah, nothing really beats the original trilogy. Agree.
What's your favourite Star Wars film? New Hope, Empire or Jedi? Empire. Jedi. Original. What about you, kid? New Hope. Original and still the best. Agree. Is that Toad's lol over there? I hate that guy. He's such a dick. Agree. I don't really know him. That's a plus for you. This guy's a total dick. Agree. Well, it's that time of night for another drink. You up for another drink, kid? I don't have any money. You get the next round next time, then. Agree. A lot more drinking later. Nah. I don't know. I'm trying. Nah. The best of... Weaver's a favorite way. Hey, good beer, sir. Some kind of a laser monkey. Zomba, hamster, lager, tiger. Twirls, twixter, twaser, plaster. <laughs> I just want to say this. You guys are my best. Nah, you guys are right. Yeah. Nah, you guys so I. I'm my kid, Anna. Yes. The aha. Yeah. Nah. A lot of time and drinking later, the room becomes dizzy and your eyes become heavy. You find yourself drifting away to a strange new world. Where am I now? Am I dead? You're not dead, kid. Who said that? The ghost of George Carlin? Hardly, kid. This is more a deep subconscious mashup of bits and pieces in your mind. So I'm basically talking to myself? Uh, pretty much. But you can pretend you're talking to the ghost of George Carlin, if that helps. I'm already way ahead of you. that bit you always do? I'm not really George Carlin. I'm pretty much you projecting yourself in the image of George Carlin. Can you do it then? Uh, nah, I don't do that bit anymore. What happens when we die? Because I worry a lot about dying on and off stage. Once again, I'm not really the ghost of George Carlin. But as far as I can tell, the mysteries of the universe will reveal themselves to you when you're ready. Isn't that a bit of a cop-out? Yeah, pretty much. Weak. What's the secret of being a great comedian? Well, first off, you need to stop being a hack and start generating your own ideas. Um, thank you? But the thing is, kid, you just need to find your own voice. There's nothing I can tell you to help you find this. It's just gonna be up to you. You just need to keep at it and hopefully someone will notice you. But how will I know when I find my voice? You just need to try different styles and see what works for you. Some people write short jokes. Other people tell stories. Some even do anti-comedy. The bottom line is you just need to learn how to make it funny. That's the key to success. Hey, thanks. And then I'll be famous? Uh, yeah. Sure. I guess you should just start with aiming to be a solid comic. Making people laugh is what the world needs most. Thanks. This makes a lot of sense to me. Can I ask you one more thing? Uh, sorry, kid. I gotta go before you realize that you're just talking to yourself. Hey, wait! Bye, kid. Remember, find what works for you. But I have so many more questions. Sorry, kid. You work it out. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be drinking for a while. What happened? How did I get back here? Hey, kid, open up. Ah, oh, crap, it's my landlord. Oh, hi, Mr. Pochetto. Kid, your rent's due. If I don't get the rent by tomorrow, you'll be out on the street of all the other turds. No problem, Mr. Pochetto. You'll have your money. Just don't make me have to break your legs. I don't want to have to break your legs. Yeah, I'm not a fan of my legs being broken. Have a nice day. Where am I going to get rent from? She is sound asleep. I wonder how she got up there. It's 
It's my computer. Good idea. Dear parents, as you know, I've embarked on a career in stand-up comedy, and so far, it's been going great, though I'm not making any money just yet. This doesn't help with my habit of eating and paying rent, so if you could find it in your hearts to help me win this battle, I would be forever grateful. Your son, the kid. Sent. Now to find out about this new gig, I think I'm getting really good at this. Like I'm entering the final chapter of a really awesome game. This is the address I was given, but the place doesn't even look open. It seems to be a cluster of old flyers for different shows. There's an old one here that says, Maha makes you ha ha. Man, can I get a smoke off you? Bro, you have one in your hand, dingus. Oh yeah. This is the address. Doesn't even look like it's open. You find yourself at the address of the comedy club Minx Bar. By the looks of this place, it hasn't been open since the 80s. Next door is a convenient store for all your convenient needs. It looks like a stencil of Sheer Khan from the Jungle Book. I should watch that again. You find yourself at the... Dude, why do we even stand out here? It's freezing. It's all about building a profile. If we just stand here enough, I'm sure chicks will be like, Hey, it's those guys. They're like, cool and shit. Makes sense. This seems suspiciously convenient. It's a little fridge full of ice for sale. I can't get to it with these kids in the way. Hey there. Is this old dude talking to us? Go bang a donkey, old dude. Lol, fail. Old dude? You find yourself at... There seems to be a lot of hot food here. None of anything on offer looks like it was baked in the last decade. There is a vast collection of magazines here that deal in all sorts of subjects for better living and home decor. Also, monster trucks. There is a magazine here solely for monster trucks. Um, hi there. Perfect skin, perfect hair, perfect face, perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, are you talking to the magazines? Um, hi there. Perfect. Uh, I have nothing to say to them. Hey! Yeah, yeah, just a minute. I don't think she's going to be of any help. Hey there. Can I ask about the value? Here today, sir, we have a wide range of value. We have cans of Smart Cola now, two for ten dollars. That's crazy value. We also have a free drink with any hot food purchased from our hot food selection. Please note the drink must be 44 mil or less. This is why we put the V in value. I can't help but feel your soul die a little during that speech. It's a living. I better get going. Thank you. Have a value day. Ah, <sighs> I bet it's locked and I have to achieve some side quest just to open it. Well, what do you know? It's open. Hi. Have you seen my boyfriend? I think he went to the bathroom. No, I haven't seen him. I could have a look for you. Could you? That would be great. You stupid machine. Give me my money.
Hey there. Can I help you? I seem to be on a quest. I was wondering if you were going to help me solve a problem. I don't know what to tell you. I can only say what the game programmed me to say. Things just got deep. You stupid machine, give me my money! Hey, are you a comic? Yes, but I'm not on tonight. But when I am on, I'm really good. <laughs> Who are you? I'm European man, I'm from Europe. And I'm great at comedy. Okay. Any advice for an up-and-coming comic? Just be really great at comedy and love it. I love comedy. What have you been up to today? I've been spending the day with James Peterson. You know? He is so naughty. Who is James Peterson? Oh, he's my cat. And he is so naughty. <laughs> okay, I thought you were talking about a friend called James Peterson. Oh, okay. See you later. You stupid machine. Give me my money. With regard to the issue of content, the sublime beauty of the sexual signifier seems very disturbing in light of participation in the critical dialogue of the 90s. Where the hell is my money? As an advocate of the Big Mac aesthetic, I feel the metaphorical resonance of the sexy fish threatens to penetrate the exploration of montage elements. Where the hell is my money? I'm troubled by how the internal dynamic of the biomorphic forms verges on codifying the distinctive formal juxtapositions. Where the hell is my money? Nah, he looks too angry to talk to. You stupid machine, give me my money! Hello, is anyone there? Uh, uh, hello? Um, hi, can you do me a favour? Um, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to see the show. W why? Are you okay? Um, no. I've had a pet zipper malfunction. Ah, dude. Listen, could you get me something cold? It'll be okay if I could just numb the horrible pain. Do you, do you want me to get a doctor? No, thanks. Just get me something cold. Looks like two grapes trying to escape their own existence. So much pain! So much pain! It looks like some kind of ceiling bird trying to be one with the floor again. The paint has come away from the wall and now it looks more... edgy. You are in the bathroom of the Minx Bar. There is the usual bathroom type facilities here. Also, there is some street art to cheer your bathroom experience right up. It looks like a bear who hates to watch people using the bathroom. I don't want to put my hand on it. Could you hurry it up? In a bit of pain here. Hi. Have you seen my boyfriend? Yeah, I think he might be in the bathroom for a while. Really, I told him not to eat that leftover Indian in the fridge. Yeah, I guess we all make, uh, mistakes. These buttons don't seem to work. It's like this ATM is out of order. Hey! So what time does the show start? We should be opening the doors in about half an hour, but the show's not for another hour. Thanks! What are these cups here? Those are promotional cups for a Godzilla movie screening we're having here next week. Cool! I'm a comic and here to perform! Oh, cool. You need to wait for Erica to get here. She runs the night. What time does she normally get here? Uh, it should be here soon. She normally waits by the side kitchen door. Okay, thanks! You look really busy. I have obsessive compulsive disorder. Oh, okay then. Can I have one of those cups? No, we need them for the Godzilla night. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.
Hey, don't touch those. They are not for sale. Sorry. I should wait till she can't see me. It's more flyers for different shows. I really like Alice in Chunderland. Got it. Hey! Sorry, do I know you? Nah, I- What? Nah, never mind. I just realized how stupid I sound right now. Hey! Uh, doors aren't open yet. I'm on tonight. Well then you go through the bar door there. Okay, thanks. It's locked. But I'm sure someone will meet me here before the show. It's more stencil art. I think it's a slightly disgruntled bunny. Maybe I should stay around the venue. There is nothing out there for me. Hey there. Is this old dude talking? Good thing you donkey, yo. Hello, fail. Old dude? Man, can I get a smoke off you? Bro, you have one in your hand, dingus. Oh, yeah. Okay, everyone, be cool. This is a hold-up. Don't be a hero, and this will all be over, okay? Put whatever's in the till in the green bag, because I'm keeping it green. Sure. Whatever, man. I don't get paid enough for this. No one be a hero or nothing. What's the hold-up? Fill the bag, dude. I can't... I can't move. This is freaking me out. I think I'm having a panic attack. What? This is serious. Fill up the bag. I, ca I can't... I can't breathe. Hey, just give him a break, man. Who the fuck said that? It was Red Shirt over there. You got something to say, Red? Look, man, just give the guy a break. Isn't it bad enough he works here? Yeah. Wait. I don't care if he's the space pope. I'm in charge here. I'm the one with the gun. That's not a gun, it's your finger. Um, no, it's not. I can see your wrist sticking out of your jacket. Yeah, that's totally your hand, dude. Well, so what? I'm still in control here. I'm in charge. This is still a robbery. Hardly. Whatever, man. Do what you gotta do. Oh, so I can continue with this robbery, can I? Oh, thank you, my lord. Thank you for allowing me to do whatever the fuck I want. Eh, it's a little over the top. Shut up. Come on, is any of this really worth it? Getting a bag of free money? Yeah, I think it's worth it. I mean, you've come in here, given this poor guy some anxiety attack. It's, it's not so bad. Oh God, my heart! For what? A few bucks? You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. What I've had to do to get to this point. I'm not like you in some cushy office job that my dad got me. Uh, actually, I'm trying to be a comedian. Dude, that's just depressing. That actually makes my job look like being a rock star. Look, you know what? Just forget about the whole thing. So, 
Are we okay now? Yeah, I think so. Thank God. I can breathe again. No need to thank me. Why would we thank you? Yeah, he was an idiot. It wasn't like we were in danger or anything. <sighs> At least I have something to talk about tonight. Hey there. Can I ask about the value? <sighs> Here today, sir. We also have a free drink. Please note the drink. This is why we put the- I can't help but feel- It's a lip. I better get going. Thank you. None of this food looks good. Ooh, you now have ten dollars. <laughs> You're richer than you were this morning. This is a minx bar cup that you stole from the bar. This seems to be from some Godzilla movie marathon. Sounds like something you should check out. It's a notebook for writing joke ideas. I don't need to do that. Hey there. Is this old dude get that low? Old dude? Okay, let's get some sweet, sweet sugar. I would like to pay for this. That's five dollars. Here is ten. And here's your change. Thanks. I don't need to do that. I think I can help. Really? Did you bring me some ice? Not exactly, but it is cold. A cup of slush? Really? It's the best I could do. Okay. Hang on. Very gently now. Okay, thanks. Looks like I'm going to be missing the show, so you can take my ticket. Thanks. No problem. I'm just gonna sit here with a slush cup on my dingus. Okay, bye. I think I better go find the venue owner. Oh, who will love my dingus now? Hey! Mm, do I know you? No! <sighs> hey, I was on the same lineup as you the other night. Piss off. Hey, I was on the same lineup as you the other night. So? Do I look like I care? Hey, I was on the same lineup as you the other night. Do I look like I care? Hey, can I ask you something? Oh my god, she wants my body. Hi. Yeah, hi. Um, can you do me a favor? Sure, I guess. 
Can you go to the convenience store and get me a bag of ice? Yeah, I'm not sure I want to go back there. Please, you would be super helping me out. Uh, um, okay. I'll get some ice. You are awesome. Do you have any money to give me? It's just a bag of ice. I'm sure you can afford it. I, I guess so. Thanks again. That's just... Hey guys, can you just move? I need to get some ice. Well, that's too bad, bro, because this is where we are hanging out at the moment. Yeah, well, I just need to get some ice. Yeah, I just need a... That's what you sound like. Lol, fail. Man, can I get a smoke off you? Bro, you have one in your hand, dingus. Oh, yeah. It's a ticket for one to see a show at Minx Bar. That's not going to happen. He's not... He's not the kind of person who should be in a room full of people. That's not... Uh, are you still okay? Uh, yes. Well as anyone can be in this position. Are you sure you don't want a doctor? No doctors. I'm just a lonely guy with his willy in a slush cup. After that slush, you only have five bucks. Hi. Have you seen my boyfriend? I think he went to the bathroom. Yeah, I think he might be in the bathroom for a while. Really? I told him not to. Yeah, I guess we all may. Nah. Hey! Uh, doors aren't open yet. I'm on tonight. Well, then you go through the bar door there.
Okay, thanks. Me again? Sorry, I want to work on my comedy. So you want to do that right now? Yes. <sighs> Hey there. I need to get some ice. The ice is out the front of the store. I can't. There are some kids out the front. Kids out the front? Do you think they're dangerous? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I can't take any chances. I, I better call the police. Yes, I'd like to report some suspicious types out the front of the convenience store in Harvey Street. Yeah, I can hold. So how's your day? Are you talking to me? I'm looking at you, aren't I? Uh, I've had better ones. I hear that. Okay, they're on the way, thanks. Goodbye. Now we wait. Sometime later. Oh crap, it's the cops. Get that old dude sold us out. Yeah man, we didn't do nothing. This is a classic case of old against the young bro. You know who my dad is? He's gonna have your badge, bro. I'll be back in the next game, bro. Are you happy now? Um, yes. It's like the planet Hoth in here. Okay, go on. Now I should pay for it. Hey there. I want to pay for this. That's five dollars. Really? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Have a value day. I better get going. Thank you. Have a value day. I have your eyes. Thanks so much, you really helped me out. Thanks again. No problem. I have nothing to say to myself. I have nothing to- Hey! Okay. Okay, bye. Hey, remember me from the show at the pit? Yeah! Hey, how have you been? Yeah, alright. The council told me I have to move my collection of broken toasters off my front lawn. But apart from that, I'm right. Are you here for the show? I came here yesterday and noticed a lot of cans around. Thought I might collect a few of them and cash them at the recycling depot. How much do you normally make? 
About five bucks. That's not much. Better than nothing. Did you like my set at the pit? You all right, on kids? Jeez, thanks. All steady on, mate. You collect toasters? Yeah! Yeah, I don't know. I just like how shiny they are. I love toast. Yeah, toast is pretty good. You should stay and see the show. Yeah, I don't know who's on. I'm on. Anyone else? Bit harsh. Look, I just want to get some can. Just stay and get the cans after. Yeah, I guess, but I can't afford a ticket. I have a spare one. Yeah! No worries. Yeah, better go lock up my pushy. I think I better go find the venue owner. Hey, are you Erica? Yeah, are you the kid? Yeah, I guess. You better get backstage. We're starting really soon. Here we go again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Friday Night at Minx. Brought to you by Old Crow Strong Ale. Want to wake up feeling like an old crow with shat in your head? That's the feeling you get with Old Crow. Next time you're at the bar, make sure you get an Old Crow. Now, put your hands together for your MC, Erica Foster. Woo! Yeah. Thanks, guys. How are we all doing? Awesome. We have a great show tonight. But first, let me tell you guys something. I'd like to dedicate this performance to a very special person in the audience tonight. He knows who he is. It's just, I don't know who he is yet. Look, I'm just hoping to meet someone after the show. Uh... That's not true, because just before the show tonight, I met someone who had a lazy eye. Woo! Yes, thank you, sir, for that woo. Yes, it's true, I met someone who had a lazy eye. Then I realised their eye wasn't lazy at all. It just looked lazy in comparison, because their other eye was just so motivated. <laughs> amphibians are water and land-based animals, but I learned that any land animal can become amphibious. If you're an asshole. Apparently there's a war against porn. Have you guys heard about this? But I'm not going to get involved. Because that is one war where I don't want to get shot at by the enemy. Always remember guys, the world is your oyster. Unless you're a pearl, then the oyster is your world. Okay guys, we have a great show tonight. All I want you to do is put your hands together and welcome our brand new act to Minx Comedy. Let's make him feel welcome. He's an old mate of mine. He's been kicking goals all over the place. Here he is now, the kid! Hey guys, how are you? I know it's a cliche for a stand-up set, but a funny thing happened to me on the way to the gig tonight. Classic! When I got here, I checked out the bathroom, only to find a guy who said he needed some ice because he had what he called a zipper malfunction. Lol. So I went out to find something cold. I couldn't get any ice from out front of the convenience store because there were these damn punk kids in the way. So I had to go inside and deal with this. Only to have some guy come in and rob the joint like my day needed that. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Here is where I did the stupidest thing ever. I tried to talk rationally to someone who clearly isn't rational. I had to. The clerk was having a panic attack. I just told him to forget about it. It's not worth it. He gave me the classic, you don't know me, like I'm on Springer or something. He looks at me and gives me the classic, you haven't been what I've been through, man. You probably have some office job, house, wife, family. Then I said this. Actually... I'm trying to be a comedian. Uh, <laughs> Cause 
I think we're friends now. We can share this. We can share this now. He then starts thinking about this, and you can hear the cogs in his mind turning. You could tell he was really thinking this one over. I bet he was thinking to himself, my life may be bad, but at least it's not as bad as that guy. Then he yells, just forget about it then. <laughs> I swear to God, this happened. I managed to escape a robbery by being worse off than the guy robbing the place. But I still had to get some ice for the zipper malfunction. Remember that guy? Let's go back to him. The only thing available was some ice cold slush. And I found myself a grown man giving another grown man a cup of slush to stick his bloody dingus in. Now, I don't know if I'm a very relatable comedian, but does this ever happen to you guys? Woo! If citrus fruit could speak, they would speak Mandarin. I want to open my own Christian Mexican restaurant and call it Holy Guacamole. Thanks guys, you've been great! Good work, kid. Uh, thanks. Listen, I've been watching you the last three sets, and I think you'd be perfect for radio. I would? Sure, kid. I have an opening for a new breakfast grill team for Double T Radio. And I think you would be a perfect addition to our lineup. What do you say? Um... Hey, I'm in! That's great news. You've made the right choice, kid. You are destined for fame and fortune. You've worked hard and it's really paid off. You are now on the 22nd floor of the Double T building. Things are really looking up. You start work on a breakfast radio show called Bazza Big Tits and the Kid. It's mildly successful and you give out a lot of cans of ice cold smart cola. With such early starts, you find yourself performing less and less gigs. You find fame and fortune, but its rewards make you feel soulless and empty. You realize the only one who understands you is your cat, and you develop an addiction to smart cola. You did it. You finished Comedy Quest. You are a hero to all who know you. Let's ask Sooty how you did. You did pretty good for someone who didn't want to win the admiration of all their friends. I also noticed you have quite a reputation around town. You are known as a solid comedian. Not as good as some, but better than most. Thanks, Sooty. Let's give her a round of applause. He's off. No, that's Scott John again. Um... <laughs> I can't see much, and I don't think I want to, but there seems to be a man with a sore dingus. <laughs> oh, who will love my dingus now? <coughs> Have you ever noticed, in every plate of chips, there is a bad chip? <laughs> is that it? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> It's a complete bucket of piss. <laughs> it's really <laughs> funny. Just like all of us in life, we wait for the show to stop. <laughs> no, no, it's awesome. I think I should get up there one night. Can't be any worse than these losers, Kendrick's on. Nah, screw that. Should just keep drinking. <sighs> Total lol. <laughs> oh, Nervous vomit. Nervous vomit. Nervous vomit. Nervous vomit. What a crap audience. Well, your best gig. Well, hey. What a crap audience. 
What? A crap audience? What a crap audience. <laughs>